Okay, so before I begin, I just want to say that the story is true. What I'm about to tell you really happened to me, and I'm not just saying so. This happened when I was a kid. We lived in a smaller house back then, and I shared a room with my older sister. We had a bunk bed, and I slept at the bottom bunk. Or, I tried to. For no good reason, I was afraid to sleep there. My parents got tired of crawling to sleep in their bed after night. So they suggested that I'd sleep next to my sister in the top bunk. My sister wasn't too fond of the idea, but she finally agreed. With the condition that I would sleep so that my head was lower, at the level of her chest, not right next to hers. Since I once punched her in my sleep, causing her to nosebleed. I, of course, accepted her turn. Since it got me out of the bottom bunk, I slept next to her and everything seemed fine. No longer nightmares. And I felt safer next to my sis. But then one night, I just couldn't sleep. My sister, on the other hand, was smiling contently in her dreams. I listened to her steady heartbeat and watched her as her chest rose with each inhale. I listened to the silent sounds of night when I saw something dark moving from the corner of my eye. Naturally, I turned to see what it was, but all I saw was the wooden edge of the bed. I thought it was nothing and turned back to look at my sister as she shifted in her sleep. But soon after, I turned away. I saw that movement again. I spun my head quickly into its direction, but again, I saw nothing. I got scared and moved closer to my sister. I shut my eyes tight and waited until sleep took over me. The next morning, I woke to the absence of my sister. I peeked over the bedside before climbing three steps down. I walked to the living room to find my sister watching the TV. I went to watch the kids show with her. I didn't mention that something that had been moving next to the bed. I thought she would laugh or tell me it was nothing. The day went on like any other, but the later it got, the more uneasy I became. I found myself stretching the bedtime, but eventually our mother told us to go to bed and that was final. We brushed our teeth and went to bed, and our parents kissed us goodnight. My sister was again fast asleep. I clutched my blanket and hoped that the moving had just been my imagination. But then it was there again. I was afraid of it, but I wanted to know what it was. I cautiously turned my head, but when I looked straight at it, it disappeared. I turned away, and as I thought, it returned. It turned again. I turned again to see it, this time slowly and careful not to look straight at it. It worked. What I saw was a hand, a bony, brownish green hand with long black nails reaching over the rail of the bed. At this point, I was terrified. I automatically watched straight at it, only to see it quickly pull away. And as scared as I was, I crawled over to my sister and looked over the edge to see what the hand belonged to. Oh, just a bare floor on the bottom bunk. I lay back in the bed. When I looked away, the hand rose over the edge again. I wanted to see it, but the hand reached over the side and finally cribbed the edge. I couldn't take it anymore, so I looked at it, causing it to retreat. I always stared at the spot where it rose, and it didn't rise back, but I was getting tired and soon drifted to sleep. Each night was the same. I saw the hand, but never it belonged to. I stopped seeing it when it moved to our current house, and me and my sister got separate rooms. I thought it was just my imagination, fed by my fear of the dark, so I never mentioned it. It was a few years back I was talking with my sister about previous neighbors, a sweet old couple, when she started to think about all the things she remembered from that house. For the first time ever, I told her about the sickening green hand I would kept seeing. She looked strangely at me and said, I used to see it too. 